this time on the Nebraska Farming Series. We're kicking it into high gear, trying to get our corn harvest done. And with the realistic grain prices still kicking in, we're going to need to fight for every single bushel of corn we can get out of these fields. But more importantly, it's a race against the clock to save our combine and save our crops. Let's get into it. Well, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is the Man Buck. Welcome back to the Nebraska Farm Series on Green Valley, Nebraska. Daryl and I are currently trucking away right now back to the farm with two full loads of corn in the hoppers to go to the dryer. But if there's anything that is starting to affect us more now is the drought. I can't tell you how dusty it has been out here and the corn is just like when you hit the stalks, the cobs are just falling off. The beans are even worse. We're trying to set up the combine to where we can at least get the beans to go in the combine. So the STS and the Kenworth have been sitting down at that south field for the last week and a half. So we can't seem to get these things to not have the peas just fall on the ground. There's literally nothing going in the combine. But Daryl and I have at least arrived. Kevin right now is running in the S680. Poor guy, he's getting harder and harder to get up in the cab of that thing, but he does the best job that we've had so far cutting the corn the way it's been planted. So we're gonna go try and dump while Corey runs the grain cart. Excuse me for a second while I move the grain truck that I forgot was sitting here from earlier. But that's just the way that we have for efficiency going right now. But once we get these trucks unloaded, we're gonna head back. We fortunately have not had any issues so far. We've had one or two little minor inconveniences with our combines with uh, wet corn, but we've not had any breakdowns. We haven't had any major stops to production, and we're gonna try and keep that the best we can. Now the S680, that's another story. We're trying to get as much as we can done with the combine itself before we have to take it into service. Issues being is that the combine's starting to act up. Uh, quite a bit now, so we really got to be careful But either way, let's get this last hopper unfolded and we'll start making our way back to the field Yep, must be I think it's the first uh, first Wednesday of the month. I don't know why that's going off Hang on a minute of it. Hang on a minute. I got a call from Corey What The what's on fire? No, 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 no. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I'm gonna find my truck. We'll be there in just, ah! Hang on, we'll be there in just as fast as we can. There, we'll get in. We got, I, I can't, I can't have time to explain. The combine's on fire right now. Get in the truck. So I guess Corey was just pulling around the field or whatnot, and all of a sudden Kevin radios into him that the, the, the header started to spark underneath of it, and all the corn leaves with the dust, it, it ignited, and then he tried to get out of the combine, and Co Kevin ended up falling out of the combine. So he dragged him out, and they couldn't get the blaze under control now, so there's a big, there's a blaze that's going on right underneath the combine. Did he, did you remember if he blowed out the combine last night? Because I told him to go blow out the combine in case this were to happen. Oh, I hope he did. I really don't want to have to deal with this. Where's the con? Okay, Corey's over here right now. I think we're just trying to sporad sporadically get these things out. Fire department says they should be in route. At least that's what I heard off the phone. Oh, I can hear it. I need to see what's going on though first. No, 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 no. Uh, grab the grab the fire extinguisher out of the back. We got to get this somewhat under control before fire gets here. See if we can at least somewhat dispose of the flames. Ah! This is not good. This is not good. I'm just going to have to go and grab the 9430 and get the disc on the back, and we're just going to disc around it. I don't care if I'm running over crop. I do not want to lose that combine. Daryl, I'm going to drop you off here with Corey and Kevin. Just check on them. Make sure they have everything until EMS gets here. But I'm gonna get the 9430 and there is the brush truck. Okay, brush truck has arrived by the looks of it. Yup. Uh, where is the other guys? Comes the, okay, they're all coming down the road. There goes the engine. Ambulance taking a jump, holy cow. Okay, and then there's the tanker truck. 
I gotta get this disc. If I don't get this disc going right now, that fire's gonna spread, and it's all gonna go downhill. I guess while I have to drive at 25 miles an hour, because that's about all the faster this thing goes, if you guys have not already, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. As you guys know, we are now on the race to 75,000 public subscribers by the end of this year. I, I really don't know what to think about this right now. I just, I don't want to lose this tractor either, but we can't afford to lose any more than we already have. I'm going to ring in on the radio and see what the situation is going on right now with if they've gotten the blaze under control or if it's gotten worse or how Kevin's doing. Does anybody have a copy down on the field play right now? What's going on? Hey, Kevin, you're being attended to, but the fire has spread. Ugh. All right, let them know I'm on my way right now with the disc. I'm gonna be going right around where the combine's at. There's gonna be a little bit of a radius. I'm gonna have to tear it up. I'm gonna, I don't wanna risk a 9430, but it's, I'll try and control the blaze the best I can. We can't let the embers spread over to the tree line. That would be a no-go. Just spray the, have them spray the trees, do whatever they need to do, but I am on my way as fast as I can. So at least Kevin's being taken care of. It's not his fault. I should have went through here and picked some of the rocks. I just didn't think that we'd have this big of a problem, but by the, yep, I can see the black smoke over there. Oh no! But currently the brush truck, the tanker truck, and the engine are over at the combine. Kevin is with Corey at the ambulance over here, at least getting taken care of. How bad is it? Oh no! <laughs> the combine's on fire! The combine's on fire! Drop it down, here we go. Let's get this blaze under control around here. I don't want to break any shanks, but we gotta at least control this. Look at how dry this is. This is what I mean by the blaze is just becoming a problem. If we lose only this little bit of corn, I'll be fine with that. But I'm gonna tear up as much of this as I can so that way we don't have any of these embers. Oh no! That's my good combine! Oh. This should be wide enough of a disc path. I, I don't wanna do any more, but... I'm trying to make sure this thing does not spread any way, shape, or form. Well, let's see if we can go be of assistance in any way. I know I'm not going to mess with the paramedics. I have no idea what they're doing over there, but I need to see what we can do over here. I'm just going to have to leave this to the professionals. Guys, just do the best you can. Please get that thing out. I put the barrier around it so we don't have to worry about that, but please just do what you can. I really don't want to get rid of this combine. <laughs> They're gonna try the best they can to control the blaze on that. It's they're starting to work around it, but the problem is there's so much stuff inside the combine that it's just frying the internals as we speak. I want to check on Kevin. So Kevin, are you all right? Like, do you is he gonna is he gonna is his leg broken? Is his hip broken? What happened? So he's got a stress fracture to his tibia on the left leg, a broken hip, and a couple broken or cracked ribs. <coughs> but smoke's getting to me, guys. Sorry. So I'm just gonna get the cart a furthest point away from all of this stuff. I need to go get the 9430, but I don't know if they need me to do any more fire barriers. But Kevin's gonna get transported to Hay Springs Medical Center. Seems to be that Kevin possibly broke his tibia, which is the bottom bone below your femur on his left leg. I possibly also broke his hip, and then there's a couple cracked ribs. I mean, it's painful. I'm not gonna do any, say anything about that, but I need to go and do what I can do. We'll catch you guys back in a little bit when something else is Hopefully not going wrong. So Corey and the EMS right now are currently on their way to Hay Springs Medical Center. I've been checking out with them. They're, they they have everything under control. By the sounds of it, I've been hearing that the fire is now under containment. I don't even want to look at my combine right about now. This is the last thing that I wanted to have happen. Please don't be bad. Oh. Not my baby! Oh. oh! Well, and they got the fire out. Some of these stickers are a little bit bad, a little charred. God, what even sparked this thing? Fire investigators at least on scene, so I'll be able to figure out what happened with the 
Like, does something get jammed in the rollers? I really don't know what to think about this right now. This is... Ah, this sucks! This is completely... This is gone. This is just gone. I guess let's see how bad it looks on the inside of the motor. It's... This, this is just gone. There ain't no saving this. Ah! We were doing so well, too. That's half the problem. Ugh! I'm gonna let the fire investigators kind of figure out what's going on here, but for right now, I'm down one combine, one combine operator, and I don't really know what to do. The only thing I can do is find a way to drag that thing out of the field, but I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. We're gonna let that kind of cool down in the situation. I'm gonna talk with the fire, the fire chief and everyone else that it's out here and try and get something situated. We might just have to run down to the bean field and try something there because now Corey's even gone. I don't trust him in the combine anymore. And all it is is just me and Daryl. So Daryl and I are probably gonna have to run beans, beans ourselves. That's fine, but God, that is a blow right there. I could have sworn we the hats. I mean, thank you knowing that everyone's okay, but looks like now we're just gonna have to submit to insurance and hopefully we can figure something out. So while I go and try and figure out my next move, we'll catch you guys probably down somewhere with the beans or maybe we might be taking the 9430 back. I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing right now. I, I'm i a little dazed at the moment and I don't know how much of our crop destruction is gonna be affected by this. But we'll let this settle down for a bit because I, I don't want to even touch this thing for the rest of the day. We can leave it here. There's no fluids really leaking. It's just, it's been crispified. We lost our combine. Hopefully I could get something close to it. If not, the insurance company's nice. We can get maybe something newer, but it's hard telling. We got word that Kevin is doing all right. He got admitted in. They have to do an emergency surgery though to start working on that tibia. As when he fell out, it completely fractured both bones and there's a very good chance that if they don't do anything with it now, it could cause an infection because it has broken enough that they need to get it surgically fixed. We'll definitely go and check out his x-rays here once we get done. But uh, Daryl and I right now, we're riding two and two together. We need to try, we'll, we'll, we'll Go in to check on Kevin here later tonight. Corey's going to try and come back and help us out with the trucks for a little bit. But I guess the only thing we can really do now is jump down to the STS and just work on and try to finish up some beans. Hopefully we don't lose another combine again because I'd really not like to be down two combines right about now. And we'll get the 8345R and the STS fired up and try and keep this ball rolling. Now with me in the combine and Daryl in the cart, I'm lucky I actually did not have my drone inside the S-Series as I was going to go run for a couple passes this afternoon. That obviously is now not going to happen. We've got about 123 average bushels to the acre on these beans. We're just dropping so many of them since it's so dry. I've been trying to find the best way to get this in the combine without dropping almost 80% of the pods on the ground. We did try and clean the combine out this morning to try and get ready to go back in if we could maybe cut some beans, which I probably should have just went down here and did that. That S, the S680 needed to be serviced and I, I put it off for way too long. That is completely my fault. I, I just hope that I can at least get something for value on that combine because if I have to finish all of the fields that I have with the STS, it's not going to be a problem, but that hurts now that we only have one combine when we used to be running two. So I'll pop up with the drone. I'll kind of I'll be able to fly it while I'm in the combine, hopefully. If not, then we'll just swap positions with Daryl and we'll get some more shots. And after this uh, field, probably we'll run into Kevin and see how he's doing at the medical center.
And with that, Daryl is going to keep on keeping on finishing up this field. I'm going to go dump in the truck, and once we get this semi full, I'm going to run back and get both the two corn trucks that we had that never got dumped because we had to respond to the S680 that was on fire. But I'll also end up getting this truck dumped. I can't tell if I just want to wait, though, until I have the whole field done. I might end up just doing that, and then we can get everything else done. The last two fields... Uh, I think we have three fields left, but I can wait it out a little bit longer. I just need to get my stuff in a group now that we're one less combine on the farm. And I actually forgot that my front hopper on this trailer was full of corn. Not very convenient. But that tops that off. And I know I'm going to be able to fit what's left of this field in the cart from what Daryl's going to have over there. So we'll let him finish that off. And we'll call it a day. And this should be our last pass. I think Daryl's going to be able to collect all that in one. And of course not, because Farm Semi I will leave one line of shame. That's all right, though. We'll figure it out. Now, Corey kind of gave us a little bit of a problem in that he took his truck, which is what hauled the header trailer. We'll figure out that problem later as we'll just disconnect our header onto the trailer here. And we'll load up. Uh, actually, I might just block this off on the front so I can wait until I can either bring Corey's truck back down or I bring like my 450 or the service truck to pull this thing home. We'll fire it off for the night. Or turn it off. And with Daryl with me in the passenger seat and everything tucked away in the corner of the field, I am going to leave my thousand bushels of beans in the cart as I'll just come back later with probably this truck and just unload the rest of the trailer into the hoppers on this trailer. We'll dump into the bins. But I want to get back to the farm, get all of our trucks dumped off, and then I'm going to take my Ford in and we're going to go and see how Kevin's doing because... We also got the call that he is now out of surgery and he is currently resting. So that's great news to hear. I just hope that we never have to deal with a situation like that again, as that is some scary stuff. We got lucky with what we at least had happen. Just makes me sick to my stomach to look over there. And that was my baby. That combine was my baby. So let's get this dumped off. I am just going to dump the corn in the bin first since we already have this front bin set up for corn. And I will dump the load of beans so we can redirect it to the corresponding bins. And with everything powered off and shut down for the night, we'll just let this empty itself out so we can get a fresh start tomorrow morning. Daryl and I are going to head over to the hospital and go check out Kevin to make sure he's doing all right. Corey ended up staying with him until he ended up waking up. So that is where we'll be heading. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. Sorry it was kind of a, a Debbie Downer of an episode, but accidents happen, and sometimes we just have to address those things as they come, so... Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the Nebraska Farm Series playlist in the top right-hand corner of your screen. We are going to check in at the hospital here and check out how our old buddy Kevin's doing. So, we'll see you guys all in the next one. This is the Rental Man Out. Peace.